Hey guys, and welcome to Tea Spotter Weekly. Uh, I just want to thank you for last week's support on the first episode. That was really great. We got a lot of good feedback, and uh, we hope it helps us keep the show going. Yeah, it was a lot of uh, good constructive criticism, so thank you guys so much for uh, tuning in and watching and uh, leaving that feedback there. Um, as mentioned last week, we are going through some um, changes, so we're going to be trying out some new stuff. We have some stuff in store for future episodes as well as we're working on some of the little things like such as the, the new graphics that we're going to be seeing throughout the, the episode today. Yep, and all the changes we make are going to be based on your guys' feedback, so any opinions and stuff that you can give us, like, tell us, because that's what makes the episode better, that's what's going to make it something you want to watch, so yeah, keep up with the feedback as the episodes keep going. Yep. And I wanted to quickly give shout outs to the shirts that we're wearing today. Um, I'm wearing a brand called Venus Fallen. This is one of their older shirts, but uh, yeah, you can check them out at their website. It will be in the description. Yeah, and I'm wearing a Monkey, which is a super comfy shirt. It's also one of their older designs, but um, one of my favorites. Yeah. And uh, yeah, you can check them out whenever. Uh, I just want to quickly go over what's going to be in today's episode. We have three different segments today, so there's a little bit more content than last week, just like I promised. Uh, we have three new releases from different brands, two sales from two different brands, and then we have a special segment uh, closer to the end of the episode that we made for you guys, especially for the 4th of July or Canada Day, depending on what country you're in. And uh, we hope you'll stick around and see what that special segment is. Uh, we're going to uh, move on to the first segment, which is the new releases. So to kick off the new releases, we have Miles to Go and his new summer line. Now, if you're not uh, if you're not familiar with Miles to Go, basically he, all of his prints and t-shirts are based off of novels. So one of the more popular ones I think at the moment is the Game of Thrones design, and it's based off of the Game of Thrones novel from the series, not just the TV series. The line consists of 12 different t-shirts and 16 different necklaces, so there's definitely a lot of variety there for you guys to take a look at. Um, I would highly recommend doing so. Yeah, um, there's a whole bunch of new stuff, and the necklaces are actually something that he's never done before. Uh, my favorite design is the Dante's Inferno one, which is based on the book, just like all the other ones. But um, I think the design like really like captures like the book like really well, and most people have heard of the book if not read it themselves. So uh, that's most likely going to be a pretty popular design as well. It's a pretty sweet design. Um, you can also get twenty percent off of any Miles to Go items all the time with the discount code Friends, and that code never really expires ever. So uh, that's a great deal because all the shirts are already reasonably priced to begin with. So that's a uh, pretty good deal. Um, the next brand that I wanted to tell you guys about is called Reap and Relive. They're a brand new uh, UK brand that uh, only released their first shirt like just a little bit ago, so I wanted to give them a little bit of uh, coverage. Their first design is pretty cool. It's a old school pen and ink type design. It's a family crest with like like a like an old metal helmet and like some other cool like elements built into it and uh, I'm excited to see what else they do with the brand. Like hopefully they have some new shirts out soon. I'm a pretty big fan of the design, but uh, next up we have Mist. Now Mist is actually currently in the process of rebranding, but they do still have a lot of designs there on the website for you to take a look at. Right now they uh, they do have a discount code that they have set up uh, for T-Spotter, so I would definitely jump on top of that. It is uh, Spotter 25, and it gives you 25% off of any of the products on our store. Um, it, it does expire in one week, so I'm definitely going to move on that and take advantage of that discount there. Yeah, that's definitely, uh, that was very generous of them to make a discount code specifically for us, so definitely take advantage of that and uh, don't let it be for nothing. <laughs> Uh, the next segment we have to continue with this trend of discounts is uh, sales, which we have two different brands. Like I said, we have two different brands who have sales. Um, the first one that I wanted to tell you is called PXL Clothing. They have this mid-season sale going on on their button-up Oxford shirts, and you can actually get them all for 50% off, which is obviously a really good deal. Um, 
the discount code you need to use for that is, is Oxford, like uh, all caps. Um, yeah, there are three different uh, Oxford shirts actually. The, my favorite one is the Space Invaders design, which is kind of like a cool twist on like what would normally be like a, a, a dress up shirt that you wear out, like out, whatever. And, um, but they, if you aren't a fan of that, they also have two other ones that are like more toned down, diff just different colors and stuff. Yeah, I mean, I would definitely check out those, uh, those button ups. I think it's really cool that some brands are branching out and doing the whole cut and sew thing uh, with their with their products. I think it's it's really unique sort of thing to take on with your with your brand there. Um, now the next brand that we have here is John Soros. He is currently having a, an everything sale. Uh, he has had he has a sale on basically everything on his store, uh, basically until everything sells out. So I would get a move on that. Take a look there at his store. I'm. I think most things are currently uh, quickly running out or sold out, so take advantage of it while you can. Um, again, just uh, jump in there and you have a look. Yeah, and uh, that's all we have for sales, so we're going to move on to the special segment that I promised you guys, um, which is based around like the 4th of July and Canada Day, if you happen to be from Canada, like us. Um, <laughs> the, we wanted to give you guys a a uh, cool little countdown of the top 10 tank tops for summer. So to start off the section, we do have Miles to Go's Dante's Inferno. Now, as mentioned before, it is a pretty sweet design and it is available on tank tops, so it's perfect for the summer weather. It is priced at $25, but keep in mind, as said before, they do have the 20% off with the code FRIENDS. Yep, and then next we have Breakaway Ink with their original tank top. Uh, I chose this one for the list because I liked how it was the, the tank top was gray, but the ribbing was black, so it had like a cool like contrast thing going on. And then the design itself is like nice and simple and like cool and like the tank top's twenty five dollars, just like a lot of the other ones on this list actually, and that's a pretty good deal. Yeah. And then uh, next up we do have Thunder Apparel's Wolf Tank. They are a pretty cool streetwear brand that have a lot of varieties when it comes to their t shirts and tank tops. I would definitely give this one a look. It's a pretty unique design and I, I'm, I'm a pretty big fan of it. Yeah, and then the fourth brand we have is 1111 Apparel with their Create Your Own Destiny tank top. Um, this one is a little bit older, it's not a new release, but it's a really cool design so I wanted to make sure that I included it. Um, it's all, uh, only $20, which is even better than the other ones, but the design is just as cool and worth every penny. So. And then at number five, we do have CX City's Ebony Tank. Now it is a cut and sew tank, so keep that in mind. Um, the price is thirty ninety five, so it is a little bit on the more expensive end. But again, keep in mind it's one of a kind of t shirt that you're not going to be able to find anywhere else. It definitely looks very comfy, and you can't really go go wrong with the uh, the solid colors and the contrast there. Yeah. And um, Capital Clothing has another one for nineteen ninety five, which is called Black Steel. Um, I liked it because of the color combination of the design on the black tri blend like tank top with the orange color just seems to go really well with it and uh, I'm a fan of it. And they also have a uh, cool little head and tag at the bottom of their uh, shirts as well which is always a nice touch. Yeah and next up we do have Death Shred in their 3D skull. Now keep in mind that this tank top is aimed a little bit more towards being a woman's tank. Um, it is priced at $28. 50, but they are a UK brand, so that isn't included in conversion rate. Um, I think it's a little more on the comical side of the for the design. I personally like it. It's a little bit of a spin from their original design, which was the skull with the hipster glasses. Yeah. And number eight, we have Shatterproof, who I've featured before on Tea Spotter, but I wanted to bring them back for this little segment. And they have this a really cool tank top that has kind of like an abstract design of like waves. It's called C and it's actually available for only $10. So that is a great deal. And if you're looking for some new tank tops, like definitely go check that one out. They have a few other ones as well, but that was my favorite one. And then we do have Obsidian um, by Dream Gold. It is at $20.95. It looks like it's printed on a tri-blend tank. Um, and it's, uh, it's basically a, a line made out of constellations. So it's a, again, I'm pretty big on the space themed uh, design, so I'm a big, big fan of this and it definitely does look like it's a comfy tee and if it's tri-blend, then it definitely is. Yeah, definitely. 
And then the last one we have is from Own the Night. It's their logo uh, tank top that I think is, is new for the summer. Um, it's available for 20 pounds on their website and uh, definitely go check those out along with all the other ones. And just like before, all of these links for all of this stuff will be in the description below as well as when it appears on the screen. Yep. Okay, so that does it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching and again stay tuned for next week because we do have new things planned. Um, again, we are always looking for more suggestions if there's anything specific that you guys would like to see on the show or some things that you wish that you weren't on the show. Either way, just let us know. Any constructive criticism is welcome. Um, if you want to leave any comments, share the video, get it out there. Again, it's exposure for the brands and you can always follow us on Twitter and Facebook and contact us through Gmail um, if you have any sort of uh, comments or questions, if you want to be featured on the show, anything like that, feel free to do so. Yeah. And then, like I said, like we have new episodes every Tuesday, so the new one will be out on Tuesday. Um, I'm not sure what we're doing next week. Hopefully we'll have some reviews for you guys. It depends on if shirts uh, get here in time, but yeah, definitely check back, keep up with me on Twitter, and I'll let you guys know what's going to be going on. Uh, thanks again for watching, and see you next week. Please subscribe and see and you next week. Please subscribe, yes. So that's, yeah.